Zootopia, 10th year anniversary. I was here when the very first one happened. Gary Everett put Liverpool's gay scene on the map when he started in 2004. And here we are, 10 years later. Boy George is here. Jane Casey's here. Sandy Hughes is here, Sean McKenna's here, Lady Sian. This event tonight is really important, just says hello to Boy George. And I'm going to go and see the John Waters um, talk, so looking forward to that because I really like some of the films that he's made. And I'm really looking forward to seeing Sandy Toxvig as well at the Philharmonic. And I think Homotopia really brings the uh, it really brings the city to life, and I think it's really important to celebrate diversity. I'm Assistant Chief Constable Chris Armit from Merseyside Police. We'd like to welcome everyone to the Homotopia event. We are very strong supporters of this event. It's the seventh year we've got behind it, and we hope it's an outstanding success this year in 2013. I think it's great that so many acts have been brought to the city. Some really unusual. And this year, being able to participate in the April Ashley exhibition was fantastic. And now to come along to the 10-year launch, well, it's just one treat after another, isn't it? So, let me wish happy birthday to Homotopia, and may there be another 10 or even 100 years, because there's so much more to celebrate now. Thank you, Homotopia. because diversity and equality goes across everything we do, but particularly with arts and the creatives and dance and the Liverpool dream. And I'm just looking at a unicorn, looking right back at me at the moment. It's weird, where I'm standing now. Uh, oh, there's one over here. We're covered in unicorns, because dreams can come true. I think Liverpool John Morris University uh, is very, very pleased to be uh, the sponsor for this year's 10th anniversary of Motopia. And I believe it demonstrates our commitment to uh, one of Liverpool's most exciting um, and indeed exotic, as we can see this evening, cultural events. That diversity and equality is so key to the arts. And what this festival does, um, I think, more than ever, is it actually shows that that's diversity, not just about culture, but about the best in art, the best in art form, and it, and it really is a superb programme. If you look at the programme, if you look at the amount of public bodies that are actually either sponsored or supporting the festival, you know, we have the police people, we've got the housing associations, the city council, the universities, the wide range of venues that the festival takes place in. I think it's just really embodies everything that this city is about. Forget war, forget capitalism, forget money and property, the beautiful news art to enhance your life. Let's bring the fairies, the unicorns and a cake on stage. Let us be like Lord of the Rings and let the gnome cut the cake. Let's be free. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! There we go. She's sailing 10 years of Overtopia. And let's open this way out for Boy George and trademark Silk Tray. alternative things going on which is really important to think and lately I felt really starved of something that's cultural or artistic and so tonight I feel like I can emerge myself in it again and that's what I feel I feel comfortable in much more so I'm just really happy to be here tonight and especially with boy George here as well so. they do it over there. 
We've been having a lovely time. Homotopia has been such a wonderful celebration so far. We've thoroughly enjoyed the artwork of Boy George. So fantastic to see such a big icon doing amazing work. Happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday, dear Homotopia. Happy 10th birthday to you. I'm a drama student and I'm doing my dissertation on queer performance, so I'm really looking forward to the plays that are going on. And yeah, it's always really good to be here and experience it. And Boy George is obviously amazing and this exhibition is outstanding, so yeah. Yeah, I agree. To, I agree to that. And you know, I work in um, I work in the Zachary Hospital. I look I look after patients and everything. And to be honest, I've just I've just come to it, enjoy the experience. And what better not than to be here with everyone, all my little friends and everything. It's great. It just means so much. It, it brings the best of LGBT art and theatre to Liverpool in the most extraordinary way. And it brings much more than that as well. It brings a confidence and a swagger and a beauty and a majesty and a magic that we wouldn't have otherwise. Yes, it's very exciting to be here. 10th anniversary, so obviously people like it because it's been going for 10 years. So that's always a good thing. I'm here with my security, so watch out because he is a black belt in origami. He will knock your teeth out, so just be careful. You know, it's very nice to be part of here. You know, who knew Liverpool was so queer? <laughs> But this is fantastic. I didn't even re I didn't realise that there was an exhibition opening tonight. Um, I just thought it was the launch too. But it's fantastic. I'm very proud to be uh, British and in Liverpool, where such a festival um, can go on without threat or harassment from anybody. I'm only I've never been here before on one of these. So it says men and women. I mean. Men are the women of the 21st century and actually you go from one, two, three stage but actually all the same really. Aren't we? I know, Fab's that. I'm in that photo up there. Um, I was like invited by Boy George um, to go to his house and he like took it for me and Christine Bateman did all the makeup and it was just really good working with him and I really enjoyed it but yeah. <laughs> Well, I just think it's amazing, just like um, everyone coming together and like all of the artwork is just beautiful and I just, it's just great. <laughs> My name's Trademark, uh, Mark Wardell, um, and I'm involved in um, This Way Out, the exhibition with Boy George for the 10th anniversary of Homotopia. Um, we've worked together quite a lot over the years, but this is the first time we've actually collaborated on um, uh, an exhibition together. It's amazing to be part of Homotopia's 10th birthday. Um, I can't believe it's been 10 years that it's been happening. If somebody had told me back in the 70s that there would be um, a gay and lesbian arts festival in Liverpool, I would never have believed them. So it's amazing to see that something like this happening in this city now. It brings a great sense of excitement and happiness. Um, a great sparkly, beautiful, almost, I, I, not almost, actually spiritual feeling that I get. It, the, this event tonight has it's been almost healing for me. It's extremely beautiful. I'm very, very appreciative of Homotopia for doing this um, because it brings really great energy into Liverpool. And the programme looks gorgeous. There's John, John Walters on at the uh, field. I'm really looking forward to that. David Hoyle, really looking forward to that. Les Mis, really looking forward to that. Yeah, there's nothing else like it in any other city in, in, in Britain. And it's, um, it's just fabulous and it's for everybody and it just embraces everything. It's, it's just, it's, it's a gorgeous festival and um, good luck, Hypertopia. Congratulations, happy anniversary. Yeah, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Topia. Happy birthday to you.